הטענה שישראל היא חברה מיליטריסטית שמקדשת את השירות הצבאי ורואה בו מרכזיות בחיי החברה מתבררת כטענה שיש לה אחים במקומות אחרים. לצד תופעת הסרבנות משמאל ומכתבי השמיניסטים שצוברים תאוצה משנה לשנה ראוי להתבונן על התופעה בהיבט גלובלי. בתחילת חודש נובמבר ליווינו והערכנו את אנשי קבוצת דם, DAM, שבאו מארצות הברית לישראל כדי להכיר מקרוב את התנועות המתנגדות לכיבוש ושבמרכז השיח שלהן יש רוח החברה הישראלית. personal contact information, but he was able, he just published a letter to the internet basically comparing our stories and finding the similarities. Dam is the phonetic spelling dom or dem of blood in both Hebrew and Arabic. Um, and blood is what all uh, connects us together and blood is what is both spilt on the battlefield and also like what should be preserved um, for life. Um, I joined the military um, for um, economic reasons. I wanted to get money for school. And during my time in the war, I felt a lot of um, racism going on. I saw um, people from Southeast Asia and people from the Philippines working on bases as cheap sources of labor. Because of my background being a Mexican, I got called a lot of names. And um, so I started to, I really felt like I identified with the Arabs, the um, Iraqis and Afghanis that were being called a lot of names to. We basically were like, okay, well, we were spurred into action because of what, happen of what is happening in Israel and Palestine. Um, so the first damn delegation and documentary and project should be focused there. That is where כדי לחוש את האווירה בישראל, התלוו חברי ה-DAM להפגנת השמיניסטים לתמיכה בסרבנית אור בן דוד, שנכנסה לכלא 400 על סירובה להתגייס לצבא. שיש פה הרבה מאוד אנשים בחוץ שמאוד אוהבים אותך are implicated in the Israeli occupation. And then in turn, the so-called U.S. war on terror is very much linked up with the Israeli occupation because both are about building um, U.S. and Israeli um, political power in the Middle East. So For Israelis now, Palestinians are those people who shoot some rockets at the south or once carried out um, suicide attacks, they're the terrorists, they're the dangerous people. And for Palestinians, Israel is nothing more than the settlers and the soldiers on their land and so on. And the joint work, hard though it may be, is a challenge to that policy together and do everything so as to break that separation that is forced upon us. Um, I think that's one of the most important things we can offer today, um, especially in the sense that we can actually bring people out from Israel to the demonstrations and that would be the only chance for them to see Palestinian villages and cities with their own eyes. That would be the only way for them to go and meet people and get to know people and create a future together and create a struggle together. בביקורם בישראל לקחו חברי המשלחת חלק בהפגנה השבועית והמסורתית בבילעין נגד תוואי גדר ההפרדה אשר גוזל מתושבי הכפר את אדמותיו. in 
unjust war and occupation in Iraq and Afghanistan, and also speaking out against U.S. support for Israel's apartheid policies. I did not leave. I reported to my base at Camp Pendleton and informed my command that I was a conscientious objector and that I wasn't going to go to Afghanistan and I wouldn't participate in the upcoming war um, with Iraq. My treatment was uh, swift and rather or, uh, harsh. Um, I was never actually allowed to complete my conscientious objector status. Instead, I was segregated from my unit um, and I wasn't really fed or allowed to sleep for about a month. And was so inspired to hear about people's different work and to also really recognize the connections between the struggles that Israeli refusers are facing here and people's work to demilitarize Israeli society and just hearing so many similarities to what we're struggling with in the U.S. Uh, the vets here who refused or people who were then speaking out um, are giving um, a glimmer of truth to what's happened. They've, they've seen the effects of militarism or they've stood up to militarism and they have a story to tell. None of us have the answer in, in terms of like what should the solution be. Um, but our job here is to go out and make as many strong international connections as possible so the stories from Israel and Palestine can be brought to the United States and vice versa.